presentation and I uh, gave us all a glimpse in the apple blossom speech of just an incredible story of strength and resiliency and bravery to share that with us. Uh, she's turned into just such a genuine, quiet leader. Uh, I can't wait for tonight to share her story. experience to be part of this school. Um, this is my family. Um, this is my dad, um, my brother, Ben, and Alex, and myself. Um, over here we have my papa, um, and down there is my grandmother. Um, I have a small video about my even though I wasn't able to participate this last year, sadly, in the senior year. Um, I ended up having a medical emergency on the tennis court, and I was not allowed back in during the season. But as my family's designated um, medical attention child, <laughs> um, it's not super new to me. And, um, but it was difficult to go through um, a bunch of tests. I had to do cardiology and neurology, I spent a lot of time missing school, still missing school, and it's been pretty hard to keep up and get back on track, but my teachers have been really graceful and helped me a lot to, to work through that. Um, some of the clubs I've been part of are the Manson Geisha Lions Club, which I've really enjoyed. It's been um, super fun to bring that into Manson and really open up that community as, um, as we grow and um, times change. <laughs> I've been part of the knowledge club since uh, middle school. I was a team manager last year when we placed third in state, which was really fun to go watch and help out with. And I've also been part of the Hidden Youth Expo Lions Club. I was at the Girls of Glen Rose a lot, and I got to work with, not on the team with, but I got to spend a lot of time with my brother Ben um, with our robots, and it was a lot of fun to, to work that stuff out. Some of the community service teams I've been a part of are the Haunted Manson, which I've also done every year. It's been available in high school. It's been really fun to get to go there. I've um, helped with costumes, makeup, and been a scare actor, and it's honestly um, been more of me hanging out with my friend group and getting to scare children than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really fun. I've also been part of EMT practice for bombing drills, um, and we got to make fake wounds and pretend to be sick and it was a really fun experience um, as well as the lead around the world at the elementary which was great I, I loved getting to read to the children and um, interact with them and see their faces <laughs> um, speaking of children my internship was at the elementary school down the road and I went and I worked a couple days a week with the afternoon class which I absolutely loved I got to spend time with, there were two um, high needs children in the class that initially I was told to like kind of stay away from and manage like the main group while the teachers handled them, but pretty quickly those kids latched onto me and I worked really, really well with them in a way that the teachers were not able to because I think I, given my history growing up and the struggles I've been through, I was able to understand their needs in a way that other people didn't recognize. And it was really inspiring to me to to be there and I um, it is part of why I chose 
my career, which I'll share in just a moment. But I also had a networking interview with Charlie Castro for um, computer science, which I changed my mind about, but it was still really cool to get to know about the different um, aspects of the <coughs> um, career and like the design and just the different ends that can go into it. And it was really fun. I win my I I am certified in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and I have done a few college courses, and I should be graduating with 225 college credits, which is not a whole lot, but it, I'm proud of it. Um, it's something I didn't think I would be able to do, um, especially with growing up being told that I was not going to amount to anything. It's, it's really special to me to know that I've made such a uh, comeback. Um, I plan to attend Eastern Washington University. I'm going there for either early, early childhood education or child psychology. Um, like I said earlier, I was really inspired um, by how I worked with the children and, and the impact that I could make early on and, and the things that I could give to them that I was not able to receive as a child. I think that working in that career will be really fulfilling and I'm excited to be able to um, like set building blocks for, for people's lives. I am super grateful to Mrs. Cope because she is, um, she has encouraged me to write and to find my voice and to keep um, pushing myself to do better and to advocate better and to, to um, just be a better person as well as Miss Wickham. I've done pin clubs boxing with her, which I forgot to mention earlier. Um, and it's just been a great experience. She brings such a, 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 a beautiful sense of femininity and womanhood into the space that she creates. And she's always been there to support me and um, all the women in pin club boxing. And she feels like like a school mom, basically, I, I think she's just a wonderful person. And also, Miss Bridget Hansen, because um, his kindness and his patience, listening and understanding, and the amount of times he's sat and listened to me explain away things that a lot of people would not think about, and, and the amount of effort he's put into helping me um, meet my needs for um, to achieve the goals that I have. And not on the board specifically, but I would also love to give shout outs to um, Ms. Sears, Ms. Clausen, Ms. Yu, Miss um, G, Ms. Walters, um, and Ms. Fretwell, because they have helped me so much on my journey. And I love you guys so much. And I, I would not be the person that I am today without the tremendous amount of effort you guys put in um, to help push me to get started, to get where I am today. I also am super grateful for my Apple Blossom experience. It was not only fun to just get to run with the girls, but I am <coughs> shocked and inspired and in awe at how many people um, were impacted by my speech. And it is just an incredible experience when people have sent me letters and they and they hug me and they cry at me and they tell me all about like how how much it meant to them and I am just I never thought that I could make that kind of impact for people and it, it's been wild and um, really encouraging to to hear those words and I have I love my family so much they have been my first and my biggest supporters for my entire life especially my mom But my mom has always believed in me, even when I was younger, and I was told that I was I, I could never achieve anything, and I would never speak or walk or talk or go to proper school or read. And she has always fought so so hard for me, and I am just so blessed to have her as my mom, um, and my dad as well. He's sacrificed so much for our family, and I actually didn't expect him to be here tonight. But I'm really glad he got to come. I'm grateful for my brothers because they are just amazing and I'm 
best friends with them, and people tell me it's weird to be best friends with your siblings, but I, I love them to death, and, and they are huge parts of my life, and I'm just so happy. to this whole school and I'm so sad that I'm going to be graduating because I love all of you so much and you guys have been so, so amazing and just every single person has changed my life so much and um, I love all of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 